children it is second part of the solution of the state level preparatory mathematics now let us solve the three mass question nine questions are there nine into three twenty seven mass so the twenty fifth question what is the twenty fifth question find the sum of all the multiples of four between ten and two forty between ten and two forty here we have to find the sum of all multiples of 4 between 10 and 250. They are first multiple is 12, next 16, next 20 and last multiple is 248. That is divisible by 4. Multiples of 4 means the numbers which are divisible by 4 are called multiples of 4. The first one is 12. After 10, first one is 12 and the last one is 248. So here we have to take the first one is 12 that is A. So you take A, A equals 12 and D equals 4 it becomes because they are the multiples of 4. So you can have D equals 4 and also you can get 16 minus 12 which is equals to 4. Then you consider this is the last term L that is the nth term An is equals to 248 and N is required after that sum of that N terms is to be find out. To find N you must use the formula An equals A plus N minus 1 into D. So you take An equals a plus n minus 1 into d, a n is 248. So you write 248. Then in the place of a, write 12. Plus you write plus only. Next, n is to find out, write n only, n minus 1, d is 4. Equals 248. Then you transfer 12 to the RHS. Here what is remaining? N minus 1 into 4 is remaining. Equals 248 minus 12. This 12 is transferred to RHS. Then N minus 1 into 4 equals 248 minus 12. 8 minus 2 is 6. 4 minus 1 is 3. So you got 236. Then N minus 1 equals 236 by 4. If 236 is divided by 4, 4 fives are 20. 3 is remaining, 4 nines are. So you will get n minus 1 equals 59. 4 ones are 459. So n minus 1 equals 59. Therefore, you can write n is equals to 59 plus 1, which is equals to 60. Now, here you got the value of n. What is the value of n? Value of n is 60. Now, you write the formula for s. Which formula can be used here? Here, the last term is known and the first term is known and number of terms is also known. So, you can use the formula s equals n by 2 into a plus l. Then n is 60, 60 by 2 into a is 12, into a is 12 plus l, l is 248, 12 plus 248, that is 2 ones are, 2 30 is a 30 into, 248 plus 12, how much you will get, 260, 260. Then 26 threes are 26 threes are 6 threes are 18. 2 threes are 6 plus 1, 70. 8 you will get 78. 23 into 26 into 3 is 78. Put zero, 2 zeros. Therefore, here you got S equals 7800. That is the sum of all multiples of 4 between 10 and 240. Next, next 26th question. What is the question? If A plus B equals 90 degree, prove that 
cos a by 1 plus cos b plus 1 plus cos b by cos a equals 2 by cos a or through that phi u into cos square 60 degree plus 4 into secret square 30 degree minus tan square 45 degree whole divided by sin square 30 degree plus cos square 30 degree equals 67 by 12. So what is given? Given that a plus b equals 90 degree. Now you consider the value of b in terms of a then b becomes b equals what 90 degree minus a then you write the lhs lhs equals cos a by 1 plus cos b cos a by 1 plus cos b plus 1 plus cos b by cos a and that equals write cos a cos a as it is in the place of b you write 90 minus a so you write cos a cos a only 1 plus cos write b in terms of a that is 90 degree minus a plus again here you write 1 plus 1 plus cos b is 90 degree minus a that divided by cos a now you write cos a as it is cos a divided by 1 plus 1 plus write cos 90 degree minus a you know that cos 90 degree minus a is sin a complementary of cos is sin it becomes 1 plus sin a 1 plus cos 90 degree minus a is 1 plus sin a plus then you write 1 plus cos 90 degree minus a cos 90 degree minus a again you write sin a divided by cos a equals here you take the LCM what is the LCM? LCM is the product of this and this. 1 plus sin A and cos A. So you write 1 plus sin A into cos A is the LCM. If 1 plus sin A into cos A is the LCM, you know that cos A into cos, cos A plus 1 plus sin A into 1 plus sin A. So you write cos a into cos a cos a into cos a becomes cos square a plus 1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a is 1 plus sin a whole square equals write cos square a as it is cos square a plus write the expansion of 1 plus sin a whole square here you use the identity a plus b whole square you know that a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square then 1 plus sin a the whole square is in the place of a 1 is there it is 1 square plus 2 you write as it is into a means 1 b means sin a 2 a b means 2 into 1 into sin a b square plus b square is plus sin square a so it becomes 1 plus 2 sin a plus sin square a so the expansion of 1 plus sin a whole square is 1 plus 2 sin a plus sin square a 
according to this that divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a 1 plus sin a into cos a then cos square a plus sin square a bring them together cos square a plus sin square a plus 1 plus 2 sin a here we have to rearrange the term for our convenience then you write this denominator as it is 1 plus sin a into cos a equals according to the identity you know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 similarly cos square a plus sin square a is also 1 1 plus 1 plus 2 sin a the value of this whole is 1 together with that you write 1 plus 2 sin a divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a 1 plus sin a into cos a that equals write 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 2 sin a and write it as it is 1 plus sin a into cos a 1 plus sin a into cos a that equals 2 plus 2 sin a is there remove 2 outside as a common 2 into 1 plus sin a if 2 is removed outside what will remain in the bracket here 1 is remaining here sin a is remaining so 2 into 1 plus sin a and write this 1 plus sin a into cos a as it is 1 plus sin a into cos a now you can cancel 1 plus sin a 1 plus sin a that equals 2 by cos a which is equals to RHS. Therefore you can say that if a plus b equals 90 degree then cos a by 1 plus cos b plus 1 plus cos b by cos a equals 2 by cos a 2 by cos a then our question you take what is that our question prove that prove that for you into cos square 60 degree plus 4 into secant square 30 degree minus tan square 45 degree divided by sin square 30 degree plus cos square 30 degree equals 67 by 12 67 by 12 now consider the LHS so you take LHS for you into cos square 60 degree plus 4 into secant square 30 degree minus tan square 45 degree divided by sin square 30 degree plus cos square 30 degree that equals for you right for you then cos square 60 degree means cos 60 whole square what is the value of cos 60 cos 60 is 1 by 2 square 1 by 2 whole square plus 4 you write 4 only 
and secant square 30 degree you know that cos 30 and secant 30 are the reciprocal of each other cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so secant 30 is 2 by root 3 so you write 2 by root 3 whole square minus tan square 45 degree tan 45 is 1 tan square 45 is 1 square then sin square 30 degree plus cos square 30 degree here you can use the identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 so you write sin square 30 degree plus cos square 30 degree is equals to 1 then here you can write because sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 next write 5 into 1 by 2 square is 1 by 4 plus 4 into 2 by root 3 whole square is 2 square is 4 root 3 whole square is 3 4 by 3 minus 1 you can leave this 1 divided by 1 means there is no any change in the value so you write only the numerator as the denominator is having 1 you can leave that denominator 1 then 5 into 1 by 4 5 into 1 by 4 is 5 by 4 plus 4 4 is a 4 4 is a 16 16 by 3 minus 1 1 means 1 by 1 1 means 1 by 1 here you take the LCM what is the LCM of 4 3 and 1 LCM of 4 3 1 is 12 you know that 4 3 is a 12 then 5 3 is a 15 3 4 is a 12 16 4 is a 64 1 12 is a 12 and 1 12 is a 12 that equals 15 plus 64 15 plus 64 is 5 plus 4 is 9, 1 plus 6 is 7, 79 minus 12 by 12. 79 plus minus 12 is how much? 9 minus 2 is 7, 7 minus 1 is 6, 67 you got, 67 by 12. Therefore, here you got 67 by 12 which is equals to RHS. Therefore, write 5 into cos square 60 degree plus 4 into secant square 30 degree minus tan square 45 degree whole divided by sin square 30 degree plus cos square 30 degree equals 67 by 12 67 by 12 now you take the question number 27 27 question find the value of k if the points a 7 minus 2 b 5 1 and c 3 k are collinear it is a choice question or is there find the coordinates of the point which divides the line segment joining the points 4 minus 3 and 8 5 in the ratio 3 is to 1 internally. So let us solve the first one. What is that question? Find the value of k. Find the value of k if a7 minus 2, b5 1 and c3 k are collinear. Children here we have to take the formula to find the area of the triangle when the three vertices with the coordinates are given when the coordinates of three vertices are given here it is given that they are collinear they are collinear points means area of the triangle will be equals to zero they are on the same line all these points are on the same line so triangle will not form it means area of the triangle is equals to zero and taking that hint we have to find the value of k now you write the formula for the area of the triangle by using the given coordinates so let us write the vertices a 
सेवन मैनस टू बी फाइव वन सी थ्री के एंड कंसिडर दीज आर दि पॉइंट एक्स वन वै वन दीज आर एक्स टू वै टू दीज आर एक्स थ्री वै थ्री Now you write the formula for the area of the triangle. Area of a triangle equals one by two into x one into y two minus y three plus x two into y three minus y one. Plus x three into y one minus y two. Then you write one by two into x one. X one is seven into y two. Y two is one. One minus y three. Y three is k. Plus x two. X two is five. Five into y three. Y three is k minus y one. Y one is minus two. Y one is minus two. So you write that in the bracket. Plus x three. X three is three. Three into y one. Y one is minus two. Minus y two. Y two is one. Area is equals to zero. That equals one by two. One by two into multiply here because one and k are the unlike terms, so we multiply it. Seven into one is seven. Minus seven into k is seven into minus k is minus seven k. Five into k, five k, and five into minus of minus two. Minus of minus two is plus two. So five into two is ten. Plus, right three into sum of minus two and minus one is minus three. They are having same sign and add them and put the same sign. Then here you can leave this half because it is zero. R H S is zero, so you can leave that half. Then you write seven minus seven k plus five k is minus two k plus ten three three is a nine minus nine equals zero. Then seven plus ten plus nine. Seven plus ten is seventeen. Seventeen minus nine is seventeen minus nine is eight. Minus two k equals zero. Minus two k equals minus eight. That is two k equals eight. You can cancel this minus two, or otherwise transfer that k. Right, keep that k in the LHS and transfer minus two to the RHS. K equals minus eight by minus two, which is equals to four. Here you got the value of k four. Therefore, k equals four. Take the or question. Find the coordinates of the point which divides the line segment joining the points four minus three and eight five in the ratio three is to one internally. Here we have to use the section formula. You know that section formula: p of x y equals m on x two plus m two x one whole divided by m one plus m two, m one y two plus m two y one whole divided by m one plus m two. Consider the straight line. This is the point A with the coordinates four minus three. This is the point B with the coordinates eight five, and consider a point P which divides in the ratio 
3 is to 1. Here the ratio m1 is to m2 is 3 is to 1. Consider these are x1, y1, these are x2, y2. Write the formula P of xy equals m1 x2 plus m2 x1 whole divided by m1 plus m2 m1 y2 plus m2 y1 whole divided by m1 plus m2 that equals m1 m1 is 3 m2 is 1 in the place of m1 you write 3 x2 x2 is 8 3 into 8 plus m2 m2 is 1 1 into x1 x1 is 4 divided by m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 is 3 plus 1 then m1 m1 is 3 y2 y2 is 5 5 plus 1 m1 is 1 y1 y1 is minus 3 1 into minus 3 whole divided by 3 plus 1 equals 3 8s 3 8s 24 plus 1 4 1 4 is 4 3 plus 1 3 plus 1 is 4 then 3 5 are. 3 5 is 15 1 into minus 3 1 into minus 3 is minus 3 then divided by 4 equals 24 plus 4 28 by 4 15 minus 3 12 by 4 that is 4 1s are 4 7s are 7 you will get 4 1s are 4 3 is a 3 therefore you can write p of x y equals 7 3 the coordinates of the point which divides the line segment joining 4 minus 3, 8, 5 is 7, 3. That is the answer. Next, you take the question numbers 28. What is that question? Find the mean of the following data. Find the mean of the following data using direct method. Here you observe what are given class interval. Class is given and the corresponding frequencies are given. Here we have to find out data using direct method. You know the formula to find the mean of the frequency distribution table by direct method. What is that formula? Summation of Fy xi, summation of Fy xi divided by summation of Fy. Here what is the summation of Fy xi? Fy you know this is Fy. And xi is nothing but class mark. You must find out the class mark. How will you get the class mark? That is the sum of the lower limit and upper limit divided by 2. 0 plus 10 divided by 2. 10 plus 20 divided by 2. In this way after getting all xi next we have to find out the product of Fy and xi. And summation of Fy xi means we have to add all Fy xi. Then we have to use the formula and we have to calculate the mean. The or question. It is a choice question. What is that question? Find the mode of the following data. Here given. What are the given data? Class interval are given and corresponding frequencies are given. Here we have to find out the mode. First you take the mean now you observe the solution take the first and second column 
as it is class interval and frequency here you write 0 to 10 5 10 to 20 8 20 to 30 20 30 to 40 15 40 to 57 and find sum of all frequencies sigma fi 5 plus 8 13 13 plus 5 13 plus 5 18 18 plus 7 25 2 carry 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 2 5 so sum of all the frequency is 55 that is sum of all frequencies which is equals to summation of f5 that is also you can consider n now find the xi xi is nothing but the class mark class mark how will you get the class mark here the class mark of 0 to 10 is 5 how you got it 0 plus 10 divided by 2 that is 10 by 2 5 5 you got next 20 10 plus 20 30 30 by 2 is 15 20 plus 30 50 50 by 2 is 25 30 plus 40 70 70 by 2 is 35 40 plus 50 90 90 divided by 2 is 45 then find the product of fi and xi 5 to 5 5 into 5 is 25 8 into 15 is 120 20 into 25 25 to the 50 25 20 is a 500 then 15 into 35 15 into 35 Find that is 525. 7 into 45. 7 into 45 is 315. Find the product and write the product here. So, do the calculation correctly. Otherwise, you will get wrong answer. Then, all are Fi Xi. Find the sum of all Fi Xi. So, you will get 1485. Here, add them, 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 1 carry, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 1, 8. Then, 3 plus 5, 8, 8 plus 5, 13, 13 plus 1, 14. In this way, you got the sum, 1485. Now, you write the formula. What is that formula? Formula is, you must write x bar equals sum of fi xi divided by sum of fi which is equals to 1485 divided by 55. If 1485 is divided by 55, here 148 is there, so 55 to the 55 to the 110, 8, here 3 is remaining. Take this 5. And you know that 5 is 17 is 85. So you take 55 into 7. 7 5 is 35. 7 5 is 35 plus 3, 38. So, 55 into 7, 7 is 385. So, you will get 27. 27 is the mean by the direct method. So, you write mean equals how much? 27. Then the next question. Mode. While calculating the mode, you must find out the highest frequency. Here, which is the highest frequency? 7 is there, 4 is there, 8 is there, 6 is there, again 4 is there, which is highest here. Here you can verify that 8 is the highest frequency. So, it is a frequency of the class 710. Therefore, it is a modal class. 710 is a modal class. After getting the modal class, find out F1. F1 is the highest frequency. So, this is F1. Then, F0 is the 
frequency of the previous class of the modal class that is 4 and f2 is the frequency of the class after the modal class so f2 is 6 so here you write f1 8 f0 4 f2 6 and l l is the lower limit 7 and h is the size of the class that is 10 minus 7 which is equals to 3 so you write the formula it is mode equals l plus this is l l plus f1 minus f0 or otherwise write it once again mode equals l plus f1 minus f0 whole divided by 2f1 minus f0 minus f2 into h then l is the lower limit of the modal class that is 7 7 plus f1 f1 is 8 f1 is 8 minus f0 f0 is 4 divided by 2 into f1 that is 2 into 8 minus f0 f0 is 4 minus f2 is 6 into h that equals 7 plus 8 minus 4 is 4 here you write h h is 3 then 4 by 8 minus 2 8 the 16 minus 10 into 3 that equals 7 plus 4 by 6 16 minus 10 is 6 into 3 3 ones are 3 twos are 2 ones are 2 twos are so you will get 7 plus 2 7 you wrote 7 only here 2 9 therefore you can write mode equals 9 mode is 9 next you take the question number 29 what is the question here the The following table gives production yield of wheat per hectare of 100 farms in a village. Draw a less than type of OG for the given data. Here production yield is given. Less than 10, 20, 50, number of farms 2, less than 55, 10, less than 60, 22, less than 65, 46, less than 70, 74, less than 75, 100. Here already less than type distribution is given not class interval is given not the class is given only directly what is given less than is given so these are cumulative frequencies fc or cf is given directly draw the ogive which is less than type ogive how will you draw the ogive here have the y axis and x axis so it starts from 50 and ends from 75 so for you for you you can take so directly it is 55 means here you have a contraption then you start from 55 and you take 1 centimeter is equals to 1 centimeter is equals to for you for you what it is production yield and for hectare of 100 forms the yield is given so you take it is units not the measurements are given next it starts from 2 and ends from 100 so you can take 10 1 centimeter equals 10 cf that is on x axis
So we take the scale here, scale x axis 1 centimeter equals 5 units, y axis 1 centimeter equals how much? 10 cf. So take the origin here. So starts from 50, 55, 1 on centimeter you take. 60, 65, 70, 75. Here, mark 1 on centimeter. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred. You do it correctly. Hint is given here. Not perfect. Here first one is fifty-two. So two means you take two division here. Two. Then 55, 10, 55, 10, it comes here. Then 60, 22, 22 means straight you go here. 65, 65, 46, 46 means here 45, less than, more than 45. It comes approximately here 70, 70, 74, 74 means it is less than 75 and 75, 100. So straight you take 100, then join them. Here you got the less than type Ujiu. Less than type Ujiu. Then come to the next question. What is the question? Prove that the length of the tangents drawn from an external points to a circle are equal. The tangents drawn to a circle from an external point are equal. Children, already there is a video lesson to prove this theorem. It is a theorem of the chapter circle. So, what is the statement? Tangents drawn to a circle from an external point are equal. And how will you prove this theorem? So, let us have the proof. To prove this theorem, sketch is required. So, you draw a sketch. Here you take a circle with center O and enter and if you take p is the external point here p a draw two tangents p a and p b are the so consider p a and p b are p q p r so you take p q and P R are the tangents from the external point P. So you draw that here what is given? We are given a circle with center O. So you write we are given a circle with center O. With respect to the figure what is given here? We are given a circle with center O and P is an external point. It is a point outside the circle and two tangents P, Q and P, R are drawn from the point P. So, you write P is an external point. P, Q and P, R This P, Q and P, R are tangents
on the circle from P. From P. Here what you have to prove? You need to prove that PQ equals PR. What you have to prove? We need to prove that PQ is equals to PR. PQ is equals to PR. To prove this, we have to join this OP, join this OP and also and as it is extra construction, draw the dotted line, join OP, OQ and OR. So, that is extra construction, join OP, OQ and OR. Now, this two are the right angle triangle, triangle OQP and triangle ORP are the right angle triangle because these two are the right angles that is the angle between the radius and the point of contact. So, you take the right angle triangle directly you can write in the in right angle triangle. OQP and ORP. ORP. Why you have to take these two triangles? Here we need to prove that the two triangles are congruent. Once you got that the two triangles are congruent, directly you can write that O this PQ and PR are equals because we need to prove that PQ is equals to PR. To prove that you take the two triangles and prove that they are congruent. So in triangle OQP and in triangle ORP you know that OQ equals OR. Here OQ is equals to OR. OQ is equals to OR. This OQ and OR are the radii. They are the radii of the same circle. So you can write OQ equals OR. So you write OQ equals or what is the reason you are going to give radii of the same circles? Radii of the same circles. And also OP equals OP you can take here. OP here you observe this is OP OP is the common side it is a side of it is a side of both the triangle triangle OQP and triangle ORP are having the common side OP therefore you can write OP is equals to OP OP is equals to OP write common Now you can write that according to RHS postulate in a right angle triangle if a hypotenuse and a side of a triangle are correspondingly equal to the hypotenuse and a side of the other right angle triangle then you can say that those two triangles are congruent therefore you can take therefore triangle OQP the right angle triangle is congruent to triangle ORP according to which postulate RHS congruence rule RHS postulate or RHS congruence rule and then you can directly write PQ equals PR because they are the corresponding sides of the congruent triangles so you can give the reason CPCT corresponding parts of congruent triangle so you got PQ equals PR. Here we need to prove that PQ equals PR and we got PQ equals PR. In this way,
Now you take the question number 31, 31st question. Draw a pair of tangents to a circle of radius 3 cm which are inclined to each other at an angle of 70 degree. Children, you know the method of constructing the pair of tangents with the given angle of inclination. Here what is the radius of the circle? Radius of the circle is 3 cm. In the first step, Measure 3 cm radius with the help of the compass and draw a circle of radius 3 cm. And it is given that tangents are inclined to each other at an angle of 70 degree. That is the angle between the tangent is 70 degree. But here it is not possible to construct directly the tangent with an angle 70 degree. But here what we have to do, we have to draw the two radii with the angle 180 minus 70 degree which is equal to 110 degree. Here what we have to do, draw a radius, draw one radius and construct 110 degree angle at a point O and draw other radius here OA is the first radius and OB is the second radius the angle between AO and OB is how much that is 110 degree after that here A and B are the ends of the radii that is A and B are the points on the circle draw the perpendicular at a point a and B to the radii OA and OB respectively. You know the method of drawing the perpendicular. You know that angle between the tangent and the radius is 90 degree. If you draw the perpendicular, you will get the tangent at the end of the radius. That is at a point on the circle. And then Naturally, the angle between the tangent becomes 70 degree as the sum of these two angles. Angle P and angle AOB is equal to 180 degree. Sum of the angle between the radii and the angle between the tangent is equal to 180 degree. So, here it is very important. We have to take the angle 180 minus 70 degree at the center that is between the radii. Next question you take. What is the question? Question number 32. In a circle of radius 21 centimeter, an arc AC subtends an angle of 60 degree at the center as shown in the figure. Then find the length of the arc AC and area of the sector OAC. Here what is given? Angle subtended by the arc is given. That is how much? That is 60 degree. Here what you have to find out? You have to find the length of the arc and also area of the sector, area of the sector OAC. Then here you take, consider the arc is AC and the angle is 60 degree and the radius is how much? radius is 21 centimeter then you take r equals 21 centimeter and theta is equals to 60 degree write the formula for the length of the arc length of the arc equals theta by 360 degree into 2 pi r and theta you take 60 degree 60 degree by 360 degree into 2 into what is the value of pi pi value you know that is 22 by 7 into r r is 21 centimeter then 61 the 66 the 7 1s are 7 3s are 3 1s are 3 2s are 2 2 cancels. So, what is remaining here? 22. In the numerator, 22. 
and in the denominator 1. So, length of the arc is 22 centimeter. Next, what you have to find out? Find the area of the sector OAC. You know the formula for the area of the sector. What is the formula for the area of the sector? Area of the sector equals theta by 360 into pi r square. Same theta 60 degree by 360 degree into 22 by 7 r square means you take 2 time r 21 into 21 21 square that is 21 into 21 then here boom 61 the 66 the then 7 ones the 7 three the 3 ones the 3 two the 2 ones the 2 eleven the then you will get what you are going to get 11 into 21 in the numerator 11 and 21 are remaining 11 into 21 and 11 ones are 11 11 two are 22 plus 1 23 so 231 cm square that is the area of the sector or question is there what is that or question a b c d is a square of a side a b c d is a square of a side 14 centimeter p q r s are the midpoints of a b b c c d and a d respectively also p s p q q r and s r are the arcs of the circles find the area of the shaded region here we have to find the area of the shaded region here we have to find out the area of the shaded region and here there is a square it is a square and these four are sectors and what is the sect angle here angle is 90 degree and first you find the area of the square and area of the four sector area of the four sector if the area of the four sector is subtracted from the area of the square you will get the area of the shaded region area of the shaded region area of the shaded region can be find out by subtracting the area of the four sector by the area of the square so first you find the area of the find the area of the square so you write area of the square for area of the square side is given so you write side equals side or you write for square side equals a equals how much 14 centimeter then what is the area of the square area of a square equals area of the square equals a square or square of the side that is equals 14 square 14 square means 14 into 14 that is 196 cm square then you take for sector what is theta theta is equals to 90 degree four sectors are there each having a angle 90 degree and radius here you can observe as p q r s p is a midpoint of a b s is a midpoint of a d r is a midpoint of d c and q is a midpoint of b c so this is the radius q c r c d r d s all are equals to how much that is half of the side of the square so it is 7 all are 7 so you can take r equals 7 centimeter 
then you write the formula for the area of the sector area area of the sector oac equals theta by 360 degree into pi r square theta 90 degree by 360 Degree into twenty-two by seven. Pi value is twenty-two by seven into r square. R is how much? Fourteen by two. That is seven. Seven into seven. Seven into seven. Seven seven cancels. Nineteen ones are nineteen fours are two twos are two elevens are. Then what you are going to get? Here that is equals to what is remaining here? Seventy-seven by two cm square. Seventy-seven by two cm square. But here four sectors are there. Area of shaded region equals. Area of shaded region equals area of ABCD. Area of square minus four into area of sector. So area of square is how much? One ninety six minus. Four into area of sector is seventy-seven by two. Area of sector is seventy-seven by two. So you can have one ninety-six minus two ones are two twos are seventy-seven into two is one fifty-four. One ninety-six minus one fifty-four. One ninety-six minus one fifty-four. Six minus two is four is two. Nine minus five is four. Forty-two. Cm forty two. Here Cm is there, so it is forty two Cm square. Forty two Cm square. That is the area of the shaded region. Next, you take the question number thirty three. A tent is in the shape of a cylinder surmounted by a conical top, as shown in the figure. The height and radius of the cylindrical part are Two point one and two point one meter and two meter respectively. Also, slant height of the cone is two point eight meter. Find the area of the canvas used for making the tent. Here is a tent. Here, how is this tent? Tent is a tent's upper portion is conical shape and the lower portion is cylindrical shape. Then. The area of the canvas used is equals to the sum of the sur curved surface area of the conical part and the curved surface area of the cylindrical part. So you must know the formula to find the curved surface area of the cone and curved surface area of the cylinder. Then for conical part, take for Conical part. Here, what is given? Slant height is given. That is L. L equals two point eight, and R equals. Here, the radius of both the conical part and cylindrical part are same. So, you take R equals. R equals how much? That is two point eight meter. This is two meter. And for cylindrical part, for cylindrical part, R is same. That is R equals two meter. And then what is given here? Height. Height is two point one. Is radius is two and height is two point one meter. Then 
right area of canvas used area of canvas used equal what is that csa of cone plus csa of cylinder csa of conical part csa of cylindrical part then what is the formula for the csa of cone that is pi into r into l plus csa of cylinder is 2 into pi into r into h 2 pi r h then you can remove pi outside r also outside and what is remaining here l here what is remaining 2 into h here pi r r outside now you substitute the values what is the value of pi pi value is 22 by 7 r value is 2 l l is 2.8 plus 2 into h h is 2.1 equals 22 to the 22 to the 44 by 7 write 2.8 as it is 2.8 plus 2 into 2.1 2.1 into 2 is 4.2 and you write 44 by 7 as it is write the sum of these two 2.8 plus 4.2 8 plus 2 is 10 4 plus 1 5 plus 2 7 then it is 7 so 7 7 cancels so you will get 44 meter square then what is the area of the canvas used area of the canvas used equals 44 meter square next you take four mass question what is that four mass question Question number 34. Find the solution of the given pair of linear equation graphically. Here the equations are x plus y is equals to 5 and 2x minus y is equals to 4. Now you take the first equation. x plus y equals 5. x plus y equals 5. It becomes y equals 5 minus x y equals 5 minus x take the convenient value for x and get the corresponding value for y so let us take x equals 1 if x equals 1 y equals 5 minus 1 which is equals to 4 if x equals 2 y equals 5 minus 2 equals 3 when x equals 3 y equals 5 minus 3 which is equals to 2 so you can take 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 3 2 4 3 2 then you take the second equation 2x minus y is equals to 4 2x minus y is equals to 4 and here minus y is there you transfer that 2x equals 4 plus y then it becomes 4 plus y equals 2x interchange LHS and RHS then you will get y is equals to 2x minus 4 y is equals to 2x minus 4 so you got the equation y is equals to 2x minus 4 now take some values for x x equals 1 then y is equals to 2 into x value is 1 1 minus 4 which is equals to 2 minus 4 that is 2 minus 4 is minus 2 then x equals 2 y equals 2 into 2 minus 4 2 2 is a 4 4 minus 4 which is equals to 0 
when x equals 3, y is equals to 2 into 3 minus 4, which is equals to 2, 3 is a 6, 6 minus 4 equals 2. So, I got 1, 2, 3 values here and minus 2, 0 and 2, minus 2, 0, 2. These are the corresponding values of y. Now, come to the graph. So, here you have to take the scale on x, -ax x axis 3 is the maximum on both the graph the scale scale on x axis take 1 centimeter equals 1 unit both you can take 1 centimeter equals 1 unit scale you take 1 centimeter equals 1 unit now take the first one x plus y equals 5 1 4 here 1 is here 4 means it comes straight 4 this is 1 4 then 2 3 2 is here 3 comes here Two three next three two three is here three two join all this point to get a straight line next. Then you take next one, 1 minus 2, 1 minus 2 comes here, 1 minus 2, 2, 0, 2, 0 and 3, 2, 3, 2 comes here. So join them to get a straight line. This is the graph of x plus y equals 5 and this is the graph of 2x minus y equals 4. Both the graph intersect at a point 3, 2. So, here you will get x equals 3 and y equals 2. Therefore, you write the solution. Solution x equals 3, y equals 2. In this way, pair of linear equations is solved by using graph. Let us consider the average speed of the passenger train is x kilometer per hour and the average speed of the express train becomes x plus 11 kilometer per hour. It is given that Speed of the express train is 11 km more than that of the passenger train. The distance covered by both of them is same. You know the relation among speed, distance and time. For the passenger train, the speed is x and the time equals, you know that that is distance by speed. So, time by the passenger train is 132 by x. Similarly, time by the express train is 132 by x plus 11 kilometer. For this also, you have to take time equals distance by speed. And it is given that time taken by the express train is 1 hour less. Here means the time taken, taken by the passenger train is 1 hour more. 
means the difference between the time taken by the passenger train and the time taken by the express train is 1. That is, here you know that as the speed increases, time taken decreases. So, which time is more here? 132 by x is more, that is the time taken by the passenger train and the time taken by the express train is 132 by x plus 11. So, this is how much more? 1 hour more. 132 by x is how much more than 132 by x plus 11? 1 hour. So, let us have the relation 132 by x minus 132 by x plus 11 equals 1. That is time taken by the passenger train minus time taken by the express train is equals to how much? 1 hour. Now you convert this to the form of a x square plus b x plus c equals 0 and solve for x. Here the numerators are having x and x plus 11. Take the LCM. What is the LCM of x and x plus 11? The LCM is x into x plus 11. Now 132 into x plus 11. 132 into x plus 11 minus 132 into x because the LCM is the product of these two. So, x into x plus 11 is x into x plus 11 that is the LCM. So, to get the LCM this must be multiplied by this one therefore this is to be multiplied by this. Again this is to be multiplied by this therefore this is to be multiplied by this. In this way here as we got the LCM x into x plus 11, 132 into x plus 11 minus 132 x by x into x plus 11 equals what? 1. Now find the product of these two. 132 into x is 132 x, 132 x plus 132 into 11. It is 11 2 is a 22, 2 carrying, 11 3 is a 32 plus 2, 11 3 is a 33 plus 2, 35 and 11 is a 11 plus 3, 14. So, we got 1452 minus 132x. that equals or that divided by you can write the product of these two x into x x square plus x into 11 11 x which is equals to 1. Do the cross multiplication. These two cancels. What is remaining here? 1452 equals 1 into x square plus 11x that is 1452 equals you will get x square plus 11x because 1 into x square is x square 1 into 11x is 11x. Now here you must convert this into the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. So write that x square plus 11x equals 1452 that is x square plus 11x minus 1452 equals 0. Here what we have done we interchange LHS and RHS and after changing interchanging LHS and RHS we will get this relation. Next you transfer this 1452 to the LHS to get the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. Now you must solve this equation by using any method. So, let us factorize it. 1452. So, 2 7s are, 2 2 are, 2 6 are. Next, 2 3 are, 2 6 are, 2 3 are. Then, 
थ्री वन ज थ्री टू ज थ्री वन ज इलेवेन इलेवेन ज इलेवेन वन ज नौ लेटस् अरेज दिस टू गेट इलेवेन एक्स बिकॉज इर द प्रोडक्ट इज मैनस वन थौज फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टू एक्स स्क्वेर वी हेव टू स्प्लीट इट इर द प्रोडक्ट इज दिस मच एंड दिस सम इज इलेवेन एक्स सम इज इलेवेन एक्स सो इर हव विल यू गेट इलेवेन थ्री ज थर्टी थ्री और इलेवेन फोर ज फोर्टी फोर सो यू कैन गेट फोर्टी फोर इंटू थर्टी थ्री सो यू राइट फोर्टी फोर एक्स बिकॉज इट इज प्रोडक्ट इज नेगेटिव बट दिस सम इज पॉजिटिव सो यू टेक डिफरेंट साइन प्लस फोर्टी फोर एक्स माइनस थर्टी थ्री एक्स नाउ यू टेक इट एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस फोर्टी फोर एक्स माइनस थर्टी थ्री एक्स माइनस वन थाउज फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टू इक्वल जीरो नाउ यू टेक एक्स इंटू एक्स प्लस फोर्टी फोर माइनस थर्टी थ्री इंटू एक्स प्लस फोर्टी फोर इक्वल जीरो देन यू विल गेट कॉमन एक्स प्लस फोर्टी फोर एक्स प्लस फोर्टी फोर इंटू एक्स माइनस थर्टी थ्री इक्वल जीरो सो यू टेक एक्स प्लस फोर्टी फोर इक्वल जीरो इक्वेट इच टू जीरो एक्स माइनस थर्टी थ्री इज इक्वल टू नो यू गॉट टू लीनियर इक्वेशन्स एक्स प्लस फोर्टी फोर इक्वल जीरो एक्स माइनस थर्टी थ्री इक्वल जीरो सो यू सॉल्व फॉर एक्स एक्स इक्वल जीरो माइनस फोर्टी फोर विच इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस फोर्टी फोर इयर एक्स इक्वल्स जीरो प्लस थर्टी थ्री विच इज इक्वल्स टू थर्टी थ्री सो डोंट कंसिडर दिस एज इट इज नेगेटिव सो यू हेव टू कंसिडर दिस एज द स्पीड इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव सो यू गॉट एक्स इक्वल्स थर्टी थ्री थर फॉर यू कैन रेट टेक दैट एवरेज स्पीड ऑफ एक्स इज द स्पीड ऑफ पैसेंजर ट्रेन वी हैव टेकन एवरेज स्पीड ऑफ पैसेंजर ट्रेन इक्वस थर्टी थ्री किलोमीटर पर अवर इर वॉट इज आस्कड फाइंड द स्पीड ऑफ एवरेज स्पीड ऑफ दीज ट्रेन देन वॉट इज द स्पीड ऑफ द एक्सप्रेस ट्रेन स्पी एवरेज स्पीड ऑफ एवरेज स्पीड ऑफ एक्सप्रेस ट्रेन इक्वस थर्टी थ्री हाउ मच मोर इलेवेन दैट बिकम्स फोर्टी फोर किलोमीटर पर अवर दट इज दी नव यू टेक दी और क्वेश्चन राइट दैट क्वेश्चन वन बाय एक्स प्लस फोर माइनस वन बाय एक्स माइनस सेवेन इक्वस इलेवेन बाय थर्टी Here also you must take the LCM. What is the LCM of this two? LCM of the two is x plus four into x minus seven. The product becomes the LCM. So you write in the denominator x plus four into x minus seven. Then one into x minus seven minus one into x plus four. One into x minus seven. Minus one into x plus four, which is equals to eleven by thirty. Now you write the product of these two: x into x, x square, x into minus seven, minus seven x, four into x, plus four x, four into minus seven, minus twenty eight. Here one into x x one into minus seven minus seven minus one into x minus x minus one into four minus four equals eleven by thirty. X minus x cancels, so sum of minus seven and minus seven and minus four is minus eleven. 
and the numerator becomes x square and the sum of these two minus 7x plus 4x is minus 3x 7 minus 4 is 3 but the greater number 7 is having negative sign so you must write minus 3x minus 28 equals 11 by 30 here you can cancel 11 ones are minus ones are 11 ones are do the cross multiplication minus 1 into 30 is minus 30 equals 1 into this x square minus 3x minus 28 becomes x square minus 3x minus 28. Now you transfer this to the RHS that becomes or interchange LHS and RHS that is also okay x square minus 3x minus 28 equals minus 30 and transfer this to the RHS to get the form of x square plus bx plus c equals 0. Transfer this to the LHS. It becomes x square minus 3x minus 28 plus 30 equals 0. Then it becomes x square minus 3x minus 28 plus 30 is plus 2 equals 0. So, you got the coid equation a x square minus 3x plus 2 equals 0 and here the product is 2x square and the sum is minus 3x. So, in which table 2 is there? 2x and 1x. Here minus 3x is there, product is positive and the sum is negative so both the factors are having negative sign same sign that is the sign of the middle one sum after that you write x square minus 2x minus 1x plus 2 equals 0 so take the common out of x square and 2x x into x minus 2 then minus 1 into x minus 2 equals 0 and x minus 2 is the common factor x minus 2 and in the bracket this x minus 1 in the other bracket you will get x minus 1 equals 0 equate each factor to 0 x minus 2 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0 x equals 2 or x equals 1. In this way you got the solution. Solution of 1 by x plus 4 minus 1 by x minus 7 equals 11 by. Now you take now you take the question number 36. What is that question? A building on the ground is in the form of a conical tomb surmounted by a cylinder of height 10 feet as shown in the figure from a point p on the same ground the angle of elevation of the top edge of the cylinder is found to be 30 degree and the angle of elevation to the vertex of the cone is found to be 45 degree if the diameter of the outer edge of the circular base of the cylinder is 9.4 feet then find the height of the conical shape tone here root 3 equals we have to take 1.73 so this is the sketch given children no need of writing this whole sketch don't waste your time writing this complete sketch so draw this sketch here a b includes the cylindrical portion and conical portion height and this is the base of the cone and this is the top of the tom angle of elevation are here 30 degree and 45 degree now you take this one here what is the radius of the cone and cylindrical portion that is 9 feet 9.4 divided by 2 9.4 divided by 2 means it consider p is a point on the ground 
and 30 degree is the angle of elevation of the bottom of the conical portion or top of the cylindrical portion here it is given the top edge of the cylinder is found to be 30 degree this is the top edge the angle of elevation of the top edge of the cylindrical portion from the point P is 30 degree and the angle of elevation of the vertex of the cone is 45 degree. Now you take this triangle. So in triangle, in triangle DCP, you take that 30 degree. For 30 degree, this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side. So you take tan 30 degree is equals to what is that opposite side by no need of writing it directly you can write opposite side opposite side is CD by adjacent side is DP then tan 30 you know that is 1 by root 3 equals CD CD is given 10 feet so you write 10 by DP so you will get do the cross multiplication dp 1 into dp dp is equals to 10 root 3 10 into root 3 which is equals to 10 into 1.73 here what is given 1.73 that equals 17.3 now you take this triangle in triangle abp in triangle abp in triangle ABP, angle of elevation of this A is 45 degree. So you take tan 45. Tan 45 degree equals opposite side is AB. AB by adjacent side BP. BP tan 45 is 1. AB AB is equals to here 10 feet is there or AB you will get directly you write AB only BP is 4.7 plus what this is 4.7 and this you got 17.3 or otherwise first you do the cross multiplication BP you write so here BP equals AB that is BP is what BD plus DP BD plus DP is equals to AB BD is how much 4.7 DP is you got it as 17.3 equals AB so what is the sum of these two sum of the two is 17 plus 4 is 21 21 plus it becomes 7 plus 3 10 22 feet equals AB that is AB equals 22 feet AB equals 22 feet in this way with the help of the trigonometric ratios it is possible to get the height of the complete AB and then what is AB here what do you have to find out you have to find out AE then AE is equals to AE is equals to AB minus AB minus B B AB is 22 minus B P is nothing but which is equals to CD. CD is 10 feet. That is equals to 12 feet. So, here height of the conical shaped dome is here from A to E it is 12 feet and complete A to B is 22 feet. Then next you take the question number 37. Construct triangle ABC with sides AB equals 5 cm, BC equals 7 cm 
and AC equals 6 cm. Then construct triangle whose sides are 3 by 4 of the corresponding sides of the triangle ABC. Children, you know the method of constructing a similar triangle to the given triangle. Follow the video lessons of the chapter construction and do the construction. Now, I will give you hint. In the first step, what you have to do? Draw a line of any length PC or AC or EB. So, if you want to take BC as a base, BC equals how much? 7 cm. Then, with the help of the compass, measure your AB is 5 cm. Measure 5 cm and draw the curve. And again, you measure 6 cm with C as a center. Cut the previous curve and join this. You will get a triangle. Then here, we have to construct the similar triangle to this triangle ABC. And here the ratio is 3 by 4. So, 4 is greater. So, here you draw an acute angle triangle and draw 4 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4. They are B1, B2, B3, B4. And here the numerator is, uh, denominator is having 4. So, you must join 4th part to the C. Next, the ratio is 3 by 4. You come to the third part because in the numerator it is 3 come to the third part draw a line parallel to this B4C you know the method of drawing a parallel line draw a curve con with convenient radius with B3 as a center draw the curve with the same radius and from here to here you find the distance and with the same distance you must cut it and join this you will get a line parallel to b 4 C and this is a point C dash. Again at a point C dash you must draw the parallel line. Again with the help of the compass draw the curve with C as a center. Again draw the curve with C as a center and with the same measurement radius draw the curve with C dash as a center. Next find this distance with the same distance cut it and join this and extend to meet AB that is the point A dash. So here you got the triangle A dash B C dash similar to triangle ABC. Now the last question, question number 38, that is 5 mass question, straight and prove Pythagoras theorem. Here you must write the statement, statement is having 1 mass and the next part is having 4 mass. So what is the statement of the Pythagoras theorem? In a right angle triangle, in a right angle triangle, the square on the hypotenuse, the square of the hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. That is the statement of the Pythagoras theorem. In a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Now you draw the sketch, this or this. Refer the sketch of the textbook only. And here in the data, data means what is given. Given that in triangle ABC, angle ABC equals 90 degree. We need to prove that AB square plus ABC square is equal to AC square. Here the construction is required, draw the line BD parallel to EC. Now, next steps you know, compare the triangle and prove that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB and you will get this relation. Go through the video lesson of the proof of the Pythagoras theorem that is in the chapter triangle. With the help of that video lesson, you can learn the method of proving the Pythagoras theorem. Here you got AB square is equals to AC into AD. Next you must take the triangle ABC and BDC. ABC whole triangle and BDC. Again you will get the relation BC square equals AC into DC. 
by adding 1 and 2 you will get AB square plus BC square is equals to AC into AD plus AC into DC. So AB square plus BC square is equals to AC you can remove common in the bracket you will get AD plus DC that is AB square plus BC square is equals to AC into AC which is equals to AC square and you will get the relation here the hint is given only the hint is given you must use the video lessons of the statement and proof of the Pythagoras theorem to learn this perfectly.